In this video, I want to show you how to download Kali Linux and how to install it on USB key with persistence. Persistence is important so that when you restart Kali from the USB key, you will not lose any changes that you made to the operating system or any configuration or also you will not lose any files that you created or any files that you downloaded. So to achieve this, you need the USB key. Of course, get a USB key that is 3.0 or faster and preferably get a USB key that is really fast. I'm going to show you the USB key that I'll be using. So this is a very fast USB key. I'm going to leave a link in the description for two USB keys that I really like. One is the SanDisk Extreme Pro and one is the Samsung Bar Plus. So very quickly, the steps to do are first get the USB key, as I said before, and make sure that you don't need the information that are on the USB key because it will be completely wiped. The second thing to do is to download Kali Linux from Kali.org and I'm going to show you how to do this. And the third thing is to download Rufus from Rufus.ie so to create the USB key. Of course, the third thing is to start your laptop or your PC from the USB key. So I'm going to walk you through all these steps one by one. Let's start first by downloading Kali from Kali.org. So open your web browser and then go to Kali.org. And in Kali.org, click on the download button. And here you have many options. So for us, we need to download something called Live Boot. So click on Live Boot. So in Live Boot, here I'm selecting 64 bit because my laptop is 64 bit. If you have 32 bit, select 32 bit. If you have Apple, select Apple. But here for me, I'm going to select 64 bit. And under 64 bit, you have like a version that is stable. And you have like a version that is a little bit like a beta version. And it is updated weekly. My advice to you is always to download the stable version. So here under the stable version, which is now 2021.3. And by the way, the instructions I'm showing you, they will work on any version of Kali. So here you have two options to download, either direct download or torrent if you have a torrent client. I always prefer the direct download because it is safer. So I'm going to click on direct download. And the download begins as you see. So here I previously downloaded Kali. So I'm going to stop this one and I'm going to use the ISO that I downloaded earlier. Of course, for you, if you didn't download it before, just wait for it to finish. So here I'm stopping Kali. And now we need to download Rufus. So open a new tab in your browser and then go to rufus.ie and hit enter. So in Rufus, scroll approximately to the middle of the page. And then here choose Rufus 3.15 portable. Maybe the version will be different when you see this video. So click on whatever version it is here and choose the portable one. So I'm going to click on it. And then Rufus, as you see, is downloading here. So Rufus is downloaded. So at this stage here, just minimize your browser and let's start Rufus. So Rufus is in my downloads folder. So here it is. Rufus. I'm going to double click on it to open it and I'm going to choose yes to make it run. And here you see in Rufus, you need to select your USB key. So here I previously inserted my 128 gigabyte USB key. If you didn't yet do it, do it now and it will appear here. If you have many USB keys, please make sure that you're selecting the one that you don't need the information on because Rufus will wipe everything on it. So here I have only this one. I selected it. And for the ISO image here, we need to select the Kali image that we just downloaded. So I'm going to click on select and I'm going to browse here to the folder where I saved my Kali image. Of course, browse to the folder where you put also your Kali image. This is, I think it will be the downloads folder for you. For me, I put it in this folder. So here, select your Kali image and then click on open. And when you select Kali and you click on open, a new option appears here, which is persistent partition size. So here, depending on the volume of your USB key, choose the persistent size. So for me, I'm going to choose 100 gigabytes because I have a 128 gigabytes key. Always make sure to leave at least 8 gigabytes for your Kali Linux partition. 
So if you have a 16 gigabytes USB key, take only eight gigabytes for the persistent partition. So here I chose 100 gigabytes. And for the partition scheme, my advice to you is to keep it always on MBR because if you choose MBR and you have an old laptop, it will work on it. And if you choose MBR and you have a new laptop that is a WiFi laptop, the BIOS I mean for the laptop, it will work on it too. So keep it MBR and keep everything by default and click on start. Here it is asking you that to make sure that you're selecting the right USB key. And this is a warning that everything on it will be destroyed. So in my case, I am sure. Click OK. And the preparation of the USB key will start. And here, of course, depending on the speed of USB key, it might take a while to finish. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when the operation is almost finished. So as you see, it is almost finished. When the operation finishes, you'll get a ready message. And here, simply click on close and remove the USB key. And let's switch now to the external camera and show you how to start the laptop from the USB key and then how to start it with persistence also. So after you create the USB key, insert it in your laptop. Make sure to insert it in USB 3.0 port and then turn on the laptop. When the laptop is turning on, Press the hot boot key that will take you to the boot menu. So this way you can use USB key to boot from. So here I have my laptop supports legacy boot and it supports also UEFI boot. So in case your laptop only supports legacy boot, choose USB storage device. And if your laptop supports only UEFI boot, choose UEFI and then your USB key. And if it supports both like mine, choose UEFI, it's always better. So here I chose UEFI and then press enter. And here you have many options. So we're going to choose the option which is live USB persistence. And then when you choose it, press enter on your keyboard. And Kali Live should start in persistent mode. And I'm going to test it for you. So I'm going to first connect to the Wi-Fi network. And then I'm going to create a folder. And then I'm going to restart the PC with the USB key and show you that the connection for the Wi-Fi network will remain and the folder that we create will remain. So this here is the desktop of Kali. And as you see, we have like everything that comes with Kali, it is here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So click here on this icon, which is the network icon, and then choose your Wi-Fi network. A note about this is that if your Wi-Fi network here doesn't work, it means that your laptop or your PC has an incompatible Wi-Fi card with Kali. So in this case, purchase a key like this one. So this is a Panda key. I'm going to put a link in the description for this Panda key. This is the PO 07 and this is really very good. So this one, I tested it and it works with Kali. But here the internal Wi-Fi network is working in my laptop. So click on more networks if you don't see your network here and then choose your network and put the password for it. So make sure first to choose the password field here. So this is a password for my network and click on connect and it is connected as you see. So now I am connected to my Wi-Fi network. I'm going to create a folder here just to showcase the persistence for you. So right click anywhere on the desktop and then I'm going to select create folder. So this is test persistence and enter to create the folder. So now I'm going to restart Kali with persistence and you're going to see that the Wi-Fi network will persist and the test persistence here will persist the folder that I created. So let's start Kali, shut down and then choose restart. And always when it restarts, because you're loading from the USB key, you need to press the hot boot key on your laptop. I'm going to put a list of popular laptops hot boot keys in the description. So this is here a Dell laptop. I pressed F12 and I'm going to select USB once again. Enter and select live USB persistence. So notice here that the folder that we created persisted 
and the Wi-Fi network that I connected to also the connection persisted. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you found it useful, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching and hope to see you in the next video.